Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we're gonna get into our new reader today. Now our new reader is called Grace. So I'm just gonna break down this name Grace for you. So Grace has the long A sound, A, the A and the E, that magic E work together to make that A say its name. And this C, like we've been learning about, is making the S sound. So we have Gr, A, S, Grace. Now, Grace is a little girl. She lives on a farm. And in the story, we're going to read about her adventures on the farm. And she also takes some adventures around our country, the United States. So we're going to read some about her adventures on the farm and her adventures around the country. Now, this story, this whole book, is fiction fake. So it's not real. It's all made up stories. But they're here to entertain us. I think you're going to like it a lot. I like it a lot. So let's get into it. I'm going to open up to our table of contents. And today we're going to read the first story called Mr. Spencer and the Rabbits. Now you may have noticed this font, which the style of writing, the way the words look, look is a little bit different. This is because Everybody kind of writes different. When you see writing in books, it sometimes looks different than other things. So we're just trying to get used to that. You'll be fine. So we're going to read Mr. Spencer and the Rabbits today. Before we read, as usual, I want to go over some spellings and some vocab. So I have this little chart here that's gonna, that shows us some of the vocab words, some of the spellings we're going to see in our reading today. So we learned this last year in kindergarten. The K-N sound can make the N, okay? It's not K, -n, it's just N, like knees, knock, kneeling. So be on the lookout for that. We also have some S spellings that we've been learning about. Perfect. So we have the S with the C, winces, place. The S spelled with C-E, voices. The S spelled with S-E, and house. You guys are experts at that. And then we also have the Sound spelled with CK. We know that already. Ducks blocked knock. Perfect. We're ready to go. Now, what you're also going to notice in this story is they're no longer putting the dot between those two syllable words anymore. Because we've had a lot of practice with that. You're not going to see that in your other books. So they're going to try and make you sound out these words and help you read these words without the dot. Okay? Remember to use your strategies. Tap it out, do what you need to do to read them. I will help you along the way. So our two syllable words are thunder, darkness, scamper, shelter. If you need to, you can always write these words out and put the dot in the middle. Remember, each syllable has one vowel. So break the words down into its syllables, put the dot in the middle, sound them out on your own. Okay, always strategies for that. And we'll be able to handle it. Okay. I'm going to get back into our story. I'm going to read Mr. Spencer and the Rabbits. Some vocab we need to know is this story takes place in the Midwest. The Midwest is the middle of our country, the United States. That's where Grace's farm is. That's where Grace's family lives. We're going to need to know the word ripe. Ripe is ready to be eaten. So like the berries off the bush were ripe, ready to be eaten. We're gonna hear the phrase mad as a hornet. You might have heard that before. That means really, really angry. So picture a hornet, picture a bee when it's really, really angry. That's what it means. Mad as a hornet, super crazy angry. And we're gonna hear the word phrase make a living. To make a living means to earn money doing a job. So like my job, I learn to make a living by being a teacher. You might make a living by being a nurse or a bus driver or whatever you do for your job, that's how you make a living. That's how you make your money. All right, ready? I think I've done enough talking. Let's get into the reading. So we're gonna learn more about race and how Mr. Spencer solves a problem with the rabbits. We're gonna find out who Mr. Spencer is too. So I'm gonna open up to page two. Remember, I'll read it first, and then we'll go over it and you can read it again make myself disappear and here we go mr spencer and the rabbits Ooh. okay follow along as i read grace spencer's dad has a farm 
Her dad is a farmer out in the Midwest, where the land is flat and the soil is rich. In the spring, Mr. Spencer plants corn next to the farmhouse. All summer long, he takes care of the corn. By the end of the summer, the corn is ripe. Then Mr. Spencer harvests it and sells it. That is how he makes a living. Mr. Spencer has a garden, too. In his garden, he plants eggplants, beets, sprouts, and peppers. Yum. Mr. Spencer has had some problems with rabbits. They crawl under the fence, hop into his garden, and munch on his plants. When Mr. Spencer sees the rabbits in his garden, he gets, as mad, he gets mad as a hornet. He shakes his fist and shouts at the rabbits. Grace and her sister Jill like the rabbits. Grace says they are cute. She tells her dad to be nice and let the rabbits be. But Mr. Spencer can't stand those rabbits, and the Spencers need to plant need the plants in the garden to feed them in the winter. Last summer, Mr. Spencer got a dog to force the rabbits out of his garden. The dog's name is Pepper. He is a black dog. He sleeps out in the barn. Ooh. Sneak peek, sorry. When Pepper came to... No, someone want me to read that page. All right, there we go. When Pepper came to the farm, he gave the rabbits quite a scare. They were in the garden, munching on sprouts. Then Pepper came charging out into the backyard, barking. The rabbits took off. They raced back into their hole as fast as they could. Pepper ran to the rabbit hole and went in as far as he could. He started digging with his paws, but it was no use. It was a deep hole, and he could not get down to where the rabbits were. Mr. Spencer was sitting in the living room at the time. He could tell what Pepper was up to. He smiled. Good dog, he said. Good dog. I bet those rabbits will munch on sprouts somewhere else next time. The rabbit looks pretty scared. I don't blame him. All right, I'm going to go back to the beginning. And go ahead and read it on your own. Remember, I will let you know when I'm turning the page, and you can pause if you need more time to read. So go ahead and read Mr. Spencer and the Rabbits. All right, I'm gonna turn the page. Pause the video if you need more time to read. Right, turning the page. Remember, pause if you need more time.
Alright, I'm gonna make myself come on the screen. If you want more time to read the page, pause, take your time. Hi! Do you like that story? I like that story. I think I'm gonna like Grace. Alright, before I let you go, I'm gonna answer some questions on your bell and let the answers come together. First question's an easy one. Who's Mr. Spencer? Grace is dead. And he's a farmer. And he owns a garden. What does Mr. Spencer grow in his garden? Remember, you can go back in the story to find your answer. What does he grow? I'm going to go right here. Eggplants, beets, sprouts, and peppers. Right in our story for us. Why does Mr. Spencer get mad at the rabbits? Turn the page so you can find the answer on this page if you forget. Why does he get mad? Mr. Spencer looked really mad in that picture because the rabbits eat all their food. He doesn't want them to eat their food because if they don't have food, then they're going to be hungry in the winter. So he doesn't like that they eat their food. So Mr. Spencer gets a pepper, gets Pepper the dog. What does Pepper do? What's Pepper's job? To force the rabbits out of his garden. Pepper's job is to get those rabbits out. So, what do the rabbits do when Pepper starts barking? So use the picture or the words. The rabbits race back into their little hole and they stay in their little hole and they don't come out. So, at the end of the story, is Mr. Spencer super proud of Pepper or disappointed? Super proud of Pepper, right? No more bunny problems, no more rabbit problems. Pepper saved the day, and Mr. Spencer has his farm, and his beets, and his sprouts, and all of his food ready to go. Yay! So that was Grace. First chapter of Grace. You're going to see a Google form called Mr. Spencer and the Rabbits. Four questions. Only one of them. You have to type your answer in. Remember to type words, not just letters like I did. And that's it for today. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.